And I gotta admit to you guys, man, I was wrong when it came to the Bluetooth connectivity when it comes to the Logitech keyboard as well as the mouse. But what up y'all, CK here, man, and today, guys, I'm pumped, man, because of you guys. Now, in my previous video, I told you guys some of the things where I struggle with when it comes to the M1 Mac Mini and just some of the issues that I personally had with Bluetooth connectivity when it came to my Logitech keyboard as well as my Logitech mouse. And I gotta admit to you guys, man, I was wrong when it came to the Bluetooth connectivity when it comes to the Logitech tech keyboard as well as the mouse but i also want to let you guys know i found a fix to it and uh we're gonna talk about that in this video i'm not perfect i can admit when i'm wrong so it is what it is but that's the point man that's why we family here on this channel uh you guys let me know if i'm wrong in the comments also you guys can uh, help me out if you guys see that i'm having an issue and you guys know the answer to it you know that's that's how we gonna communicate here on this channel so let me go ahead and back up real quick now two other issues that i had with the m1 mac mini was was actually kind of frustrating i'm not gonna lie to you guys and that was with my logitech ms keys as well as the logitech ms master 3. now for some reason the bluetooth connectivity would just drop out or it would just continuously just randomly stutter when i actually move the mouse across the screen then also when i actually needed to log into my machine i would actually need to use the apple magic keyboard first before i was actually able to use the bluetooth connection that is needed for my logitech devices for them to work now you guys can understand how annoying this can possibly be especially if you're doing casual web browsing uh doing holiday shopping which i actually need to finish that because i literally haven't even started or especially if you guys are editing videos on it like the video you guys are seeing right now but either way man this fix that i have for you guys definitely works with the m1 mac mini as well as it also works with the uh, M1 MacBook Air that I just actually talked about in my previous video. All right, so let me just tell you guys some of the things that I actually tried because I wanna walk you guys through this. So the first thing that I did that I tried was the Bluetooth regular connection and just I just restarted my machine. I just wanted to see if that would fix the problem that I had and uh, it didn't fix it at all. <laughs> like it was legit still stuttering across the screen. The Bluetooth connection would still drop out. So then the next thing I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and take this suggestion from one of you guys out there and use the Logitech USB-A dongle that actually comes with the Logitech keyboard as well as that also comes with the Logitech mouse. Now I believe it can actually connect up to six Logitech devices on one of those single little USB-A devices, but again, that's besides the point. Ain't really got nothing to do with what I'm about to tell you guys, but I end up plugging it into this device here that I recommended to you guys here. Let me get it real quick. Oh, I end up plugging it into the uh, Cal Digit TS3 Plus and uh, come to find out, I still had the exact same issue. It would drop connections. Uh, when I use my mouse, it would stutter across the screen. And I was like, okay, now I did what you guys said. I plugged it in. I, I, I did exactly the order that you guys gave me down in those comments. I said, you know what? They can't be wrong. So I was like, let me try it. Plugged it right into this. Still had the exact same issue. Cutting out. Uh, stuttering across the screen. I wasn't able to be able to use it to log in without using the Apple Magic Keyboard first. And uh, so, I, you know, I, I, I felt like I was defeated. So I sit here and sat to myself, man, and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm reading y'all comments and I'm like, I know y'all can't be wrong. I know y'all ain't capping with me because some of y'all, it wasn't a whole lot of y'all, but some of y'all said y'all Logitech stuff was actually working. So I was like, all right, let me try one more thing because I know, I, I just know the C-Squad ain't lying to me. Y'all ain't trying to string me along. So I said, let me go ahead and try one more method. So I end up plugging it right into the Mac Mini before I sold it. And when I tell you guys, it literally solved my problems now I've been mainly testing this more on the M1 MacBook Air since because that one doesn't necessarily have a USB a port so you do have to use a dongle in order for you to be able to use it but I also tested it on the M1 Mac mini and it worked flawlessly so C squad hey I appreciate y'all I definitely appreciate y'all and I can admit when I'm wrong man so again like I said I was wrong when it comes to the Mac mini uh, definitely you can use Logitech devices as well as it will allow you guys to be able to log in as well um, to with using this now that there's a caveat to that i still stand with what i said in my previous video about you know i'm still thinking about getting the 16 gigabyte version of ram which is still the wave and i think it's definitely the way to go long term as it will have a much longer lifespan so i'm still glad i was actually able to sell it for a good price and if you guys want to know what i actually sold it for just comment down below and uh i'll let you guys know uh if you guys want to know i'll tell you but man y'all don't know how happy i am to be able to figure that out with you guys help uh because this was literally my biggest issue when it came to the m1 machine 
machines as well as Big Sur because I was so confused. I'm like, is this a Big Sur issue? Is this an M1 chip issue? Or is this just a Logitech issue? But even though guys, this still fixes the issue and I still don't have to have additional hardwired or wired in cables running into the back of my machine. I still think that Apple needs to resolve their Bluetooth issues because although this solves my problem, the issue that it still has a Bluetooth connection issue still remains and that still is a thing. Now, hopefully they actually fix this issue in upcoming updates because I do think that these machines are worth you guys spending your money on because they are really good machines. Now, I still recommend you all get the 16 gigabyte RAM version of this machine because it will last longer over time because when it comes to video editing, photo editing, everyday web browsing, gaming on this machine, using OBS to capture and record video gameplay, using my PS5 gaming console, this thing is a beast and it is a good machine. But for me, I have to try it all before I can actually make my final decision. And I think within the next couple of days, I should have a final decision on which machine I actually plan on going with. So if you guys want to be a part of that and you want to know and be a part of this entire journey that I'm on finding my next Apple machine, then definitely make sure you guys are subscribed and just uh, keep watching the videos because I am going to be giving you guys what I'm going to end up selling and with. But like always, man, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about buying eight gigabytes of RAM machine versus a 16 gigabyte RAM machine in 2020 when we are living in the age of doing a lot of multitasking and different things like that? Is this something that you guys think that I'm wrong about? Let's go ahead and have a convo down in the comment section below. I'm curious to get you guys' thoughts on this topic. Like I said, you guys helped me out with this issue. So hey, maybe I'm wrong about something else. Let me know. Well, guys, that wraps up this video, man. If you found this video helpful, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. So that way, when the next video drops, you guys will be the first one in line to see it. Now, if you guys want to know what I actually sold it in one Mac Mini 4 and what I actually bought to replace it, check out this video right here and uh, I'll see y'all over there. Peace. Yo, why are you still here? Yo, fam, click on the video, bro. <laughs>